Did somebody say card review? Hello, hello, this is AGP or Amigo JP. And before we start the car review, I would like to give you a friendly reminder that on March 25 at 7 p.m. EU time, 1 p.m. NA time, the reveal of the new cards of the new expansion Rise of the Shadows will begin. So, note your calendars because it's gonna be hype, hype, hype. And with that said, let's get into the card review. Our first card is an epic card for Priest, Lazel's Scheme. Zero mana, reduce the attack of an enemy minion by one until your next turn. Upgrade each turn. So this is a very good card for your Shadow War Pain, Shadow War Death, or if you want to go a little bit nastier, Cabal Shadow Priest. Even the art depicts the minion screaming in agony because his puny mind can be controlled now. Also, this card is very good with Forbidden Words because you can reduce the attack and then you can Forbidden Words the minion. So it is a very good synergy with those two cards. But I don't know if this card would be played in a specific priest deck. One deck in mind maybe a heavy control stealing priest deck, but you may never know. All in all, this is a very good card. For shamans, we have a legendary minion, Swamp Queen Hagata, 7 mana 5 5 battle cry, add a 5 5 horror to your hand, teach it 2 shaman spells. So you want to know what is this new and interesting mechanic. Well, I will try to explain as much as I can. Wait. We have a theater in here? We can show clips now? Are you making popcorn? From Wicker Vow, hear my plea. These cursed spells I give to thee! So yeah, that's how it goes. So you create the 5-5 horror in your hand and it can cast two spells. One that is targetable and one that is not. So this is a very controversial card because it's 7 mana do nothing. But it is a battle cry and we still have shudder walk. So it is a good card but you need to play it in a certain time to get the effect. So if you are against aggro, it's very bad. Against control, it is value, so you need to play it. It is seven mana do nothing, but it is a very interesting concept and it is very fun to play. I will try this card when it comes out. The next card is Rafam's Scheme. Free mana summon 1-1-1 one, one, one Imp, upgrade each turn. So in the history of Hearthstone, Warlock is known for summoning a lot of Imps. But this card screams aggro. But this is very good only if this card starts in your hand. Because if you draw it late game, you still need to wait a couple of turns for this to be valuable. But a very good deck that may pop up is Hyreek buff deck because the one ones can be killed very fast but with the spirit of the bat you can you can buff your Hyreek or other cards. Instead of that we need to see the other cards of the warlock set so we can probably analyze this card but until then this is a very meh card. For Rogue we have Togwaggle Scheme. One mana, choose a minion, shuffle one copy into your deck. 
upgrade each turn. So this is a very good card, even if you get it upgrade only twice or three times. But in the long run, if you can upgrade this for 9 or 10, then that's super value. You can just put a very good minion from your deck and then put 9 again in your deck. So that is very, very good. A lot of people say that this card can be used with Nomi, but the problem is you need to draw the other Nomis so Nomi can, can use his battle cry. But this is very good. We just have to see the other cards and then we can, I don't know, make good combo rogue decks. This is good in Death Rattle, this is good in, uh, in uh, Miracle Rogue, this is good in Malagos Rogue. It's just a very good card because you can put your value cards in your deck again. I mean your value card. I don't know if, if they ever print a card for Rogue that can recruit a lot of minions from your deck onto the battlefield, then this card can be scary. And if you want to see how scary this card is, luckily we have a clip. Roll it! I'm out of cards! <laughs> For Warrior we have Omega Devastator. So 4 mana 4 5 battle cry if you have 10 mana crystals deal 10 damage to a minion. And it is a mech. So this is a very good card if you can live until turn 10. Plus this is a warrior card so you will live until turn 10. Also Warrior is known to have the best control deck ever. So this card is a very good addition to the control warrior type. Also, if you have Omega, uh, Omega Assembly, you can get a free one, plus from your Dr. Boom Mad Genius. All in all, this is a very good card, but only if you can play it on turn 10. If you need to play it earlier against aggro, it's still a very good card. A 4 mana 4 5, it's still reasonable. But it is insane if you can wait until turn 10. For Hunter, we have a legendary minion, 6 mana, 3, 4, Oblivitron. Death Rattle, summon a mech from your hand and trigger its Death Rattle. So, with the rotation, Hunter is losing a lot of uh, Death Rattle, trigger spells, and minions. But we still have Fireworks Technician. But. The problem is, we don't have a lot of strong buff mechs, so you can cheat them out very fast. There is only one, and that is Mechatune. So you could build maybe a Mechatune OTK Hunter deck. That is a little bit forced, but it's still good. Because that is the only minion that you want to pull out with the Death Rattle. Because the other mechs from Boomsday a lot of the good ones are with a battle cry and if you cannot trigger the battle cry that's very bad but you cannot cannot cry if you get this from from opening packs because it could be good with future expansions but if you want to disenchant it i wouldn't say no but keep it because this may be a sleeper Dead or alive. Ooh, I wonder what this does. And the last card for today is a warrior card, one mana, improve morale. Deal one damage to a minion if it survives, add a lackey to your hand. So lackey is a new mechanic. And we need to find out if the lackeys are good minions to generate. But this card is a weaker whirlwind because you can only damage one minion. And 
The minion needs to survive so you can get the value out of it. Of course, it is good with Grom Hellscream or other Enrage minions or if this minion is damaged. All in all, we need to see if Warrior gets more Enrage cards because with the rotation we are losing Rot Face and other cards that have value by damaging them. But we maybe see this in Arena more than in Standard. Well, that is all for today. But there will be more reviews on this channel, plus gameplay when the new expansion releases. So subscribe! And don't forget to have fun! I will see you legends in the next one. See ya!